Tell me what you had this week. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Ooh, yapping puppy. Puppy. All right, so in this wonderful little piece, we're going to make all those notes nice and steady. Okay, so tell me about do you know what the names of those notes are? Do you remember that we, we um, I don't know if you remember the name of them. They get one beat, they're called quarter notes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so anytime you see those, do you see a lot of quarter notes on this little cottontails piece too? Lots of quarter notes. Okay, so why don't we go and put our fingers up on the group of two black keys or three black keys? Group of two. Good. I'm gonna move each other's hair down like that. Okay, I'm gonna play the duet with us. All right, and let's make our fingers a little bit more rounded. Oh my gosh, your heels look beautiful. Ready? with your left hand, but it's with, with which hand? Right. With your right hand. Okay. Just think, now that we've circled it, you'll probably be able to say right hand, right hand. your four little hills and also look at your wrist and your forearm to feel that all this goes down as one what I say a playing unit right so your wrist doesn't bob up and down like that look at this like this so it all goes down and up at the same time that's it I'm gonna guide you two cotton tails are hopping wow Let's try it with your left hand too. So what finger do you begin with? Uh, three. Three, good. Once they start, there is no stopping. Very nice, good. All right, let's 
Let's turn the page. Both really well done. Good for you. All right, popping popcorn. Okay. Now, this one has all quarter notes in it, too, doesn't it? Yes. And how many notes does your left hand play through this whole piece? Yeah, how many notes is your left hand? Three. <laughs> Good. And what is that note that you play in the left hand? Can you find it on the on the keyboard? Remember, you're talking about your left hand, right? So think about which hand oh, yeah. looks like an L between fingers one and two. It also kind of um, looks like a Michigan. It does. It does look just, just, a, little bit, just a little bit right now. You're so right. So your left hand is on a group of three black keys or a group of two black keys? Wait, what? Is your left hand on a group of two black keys or a group of three black keys? Two. Okay, so go ahead and find a group of two black keys. I think I'm going to move you down a bit. So again, you're in the middle of your piece. Okay, I don't know if you're not there. Now we're in the middle of the piece. Okay, and what finger always plays that key? Yes, what finger is that called? Three. Good. Now, hold on a second. Before you start, this pattern is the exact same thing as what other pattern? Those two. Oh my gosh, can you put a circle around those next two patterns that are exactly the same? Oh, good for you. Wonderful, good. It's kind of like a step to go up a little bit. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's true. The little steps that go, that go up and down. So do you notice how this goes up? And then those three notes go down. Yes, good. Kind of like a yapping puppy. Yeah, kind yeah. of like yapping puppy. That's absolutely Just true. Just at the end. Right. Okay, so you ready to play? Yeah. I'm going to be listening for a steady beat. Okay. Does that sound good? Okay. Wait, You just kept right on going. That was really smart of you. Because in performances, we can't stop, right? And if something little happens, we just keep going. <laughs> Isn't that great? Really? Yeah, okay. absolutely. So we practice it hard so that we can play it as perfectly as we as we can, right? But when we're in a performance like that, you and me playing together, <gasps> something happens, we just smile at the end and say, gosh, we ended at the same time. Isn't <laughs> that perfect? <laughs> yeah, it is.